So, dear students, today we wish to discuss about the operation US and West Asia and during course of discussions we will discuss about the objectives, introduction, the background of both the countries, role of Ministry of Tourism and we will concentrate on operations US, traffic from United States, Indian outbound to United States and marketing strategies. So far as West Asia is concerned, we will also discuss Operation West Asia. We will also further discuss the traffic from West Asia and West Asia as a tourism market for India. And then finally, as usual, we will sum up also. Dear students, when you will be going through to the contents, you will be able to understand US markets and its importance to India. You will come to know about the West Asia and its strategic position. You will also learn about the tourist profile of both the region. So, friends, US, which is generally called United States, is abbreviation as an abbreviation called US, is quickly becoming a top destination for Indian travelers. So, students, United States is quickly becoming a top destination for Indian travelers. In 2018 last year, the United States welcomed approximately 1.4 million visitors from India. A new record, India has moved up on the list and it's now one of the top 10 countries sending travelers to the United States. Primarily, uh, you know, 2017-18, um, Indian visitor data has shown year-to-year -year growth of almost 8.5%. Regarding receipts, the United States is ahead of its rivals, receiving for more than a 36% share of total Indian outbound tourist spending. For perspective, Indian tourist gross spending share in the United States is nearly 1.5% times more than its closest rivals like Australia, which is followed by Singapore, Malaysia, and UK. In 2018, I am talking about the latest data. Indian travelers spent nearly uh, $15.8 billion in the United States. Again, that is an increase of 7.5% from 2017, with shopping being their top activity. Western Asia or Southwestern Asia is culturally rich region with as many as 18 member countries located directly south of Eastern Europe, the region is bounded by a few major seas, namely the Arabian Sea, the Red Sea, Mediterranean, the Caspian Sea and the Black Sea, along with the Aegean Sea and Persian Gulf. The region is also known to be the, uh, to be endowed with the con convolution of cultures and an enchanting fusion of old and modern world charm that will mystify its visitor to another level. This is the unique thing of Western Asia. And uh, while in the past many travelers from India have preferred regional outbound travel as their first overseas tourism experience, many are considering the United States as the first uh, aspirational destination to visit with a significant Indian diaspora in the United States. There are increasing uh, you know, family, educational and commercial reasons for Indians to consider traveling to the United States. And as such, in summary, India provides a large uh, opportunity for U.S. destination and there is much more that can be done to gain market share and become the destination of choice for Indian travelers. Considering increased competition from tourism promotion organization. India highly recommends that U.S. destination and attractions as well as the convention visitors, bureau and service providers include India in their marketing and overseas strategies. India has long had vital interest in the Western Asia region. The first involves the safety and well-being of the almost 9 million strong Indian diaspora in the Western Asia. 
who contribute remittances of around 40 million dollar annually. Their security is also a politically sensitive issues for the Indian government and has necessitized evaluation of Indian nationals whether from Kuwait in 99, uh, rather they have they were evacuated uh, from these nations uh, when we talk about Kuwait in 1990, Lebanon in 2006, Libya in 2011 and Yemen in 2015. The second interest concerned energy security which is vital for the health and well-being of the Indian economy. About 60 percent of all India oil imports and even more of its natural gas that is uh, that come from Western Asia making India one of the major economies that is most dependent on the region for its energy needs. A third consideration is security including cooperation on counter-terrorism. This has required India to develop important if sometimes tactics, security and intelligence sharing mechanism as well as border defense partnership across the region. These critical Indian interests concerning the diaspora, energy and security have required India to maintain a delicate balancing act in the region between its major player Saudi Arabia, Iran, Israel and UAE that is called United Arab Emirates, Qatar and other countries. So far as India tourism offices when we talk about the US, uh, the India tourism office is based in New York that have participated the major international travel fairs and exhibitions at important tourism destinations all over the US as well as in the emerging and potential markets to showcase and promote the tourism products of the country. India tourism uh, overseas offices participated in international fairs and exhibition all over the world like Arabian Travel Mart in Dubai, World Tourism, uh, World Travel Mart in L London, ITB in Berlin, ITB Asia, IMAX of Frankfurt and Las Vegas, Fitur in Madrid, Top Resign Milan. Certainly the participation in these international fairs would have direct or indirect impact upon the tourist movement between India and US and between India and the Western Asia. For development and promotion of tourism, the Ministry of Tourism engages various consultants, negotiations uh, with the international organizations such as UNWTO, that is United Nations World Tourism Organization, Economic and Social Commission for Asia and Pacific that is called ESCAPE, Association of Southeast Asian Nation called ASEAN and South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation called SARC. Consultations and negotiation with other countries are held for signing of agreement, memorandum of understanding for bilateral and multilateral cooperation in the field of tourism. At present, MOUs are in place of countries out of which 41 are valid and 28 have been expired. The Ministry of Tourism organizes a meeting between Honorable Tourism Minister, Government of India and the Ambassador of different countries with the support of Amb Ambassador Forum. It was last year in 2018 was held in Hotel Ashoka, New Delhi. Incredible India Roadshow organized by the Ministry of Tourism at New York, Huston, Chicago, St. Louis in US uh, last year in the month of June. The roadshow in New York was held in hotel markets at Times Square which is a very prominent place and was attended by over 100 tour operators from the city. This is a, a very good sign of the success of this uh, roadshow. Indian spending outside the country while traveling abroad has doubled in the past 10 years from 7.5 million dollar billion dollar in 2005 to nearly uh, 16 billion dollar in 2015. The figures uh, illustrate that the recent growth in the sector unfazed by President Donald Trump's uh, 
the immigration policies and uh, and the visa restrictions uh, are being imposed by the us administration a record 1.4 million indians tourists visited the us in 2018 becoming one of the top group of international visitor to america according to a top us tourism official india was third in term of growth rate that was almost 7.2% during the year followed by brazil 15.5 and then the mexico so brand us is an organization dedicated to marketing the united states as a premier and travel destination india is one of the strongest market for visiting friends and relatives there has been a long history of a lot of the young students coming from different corner of the country to us for the education families following them and then growing community of india in the united states are important reasons being high visitation from india to us the united states has always been an inspirational destination for the peoples of india the two countries have natural affinity they have democratic system and india us relationship is become day by day stronger and deeper every passing year the spending capacity of tourists from india is much more than those from the other countries uh, india is the fifth largest foreign exchange generating country after china and canada as well as mexico and japan in term of spending by the foreign tourist referring to the us department of commerce statistics that indian visitation is projected to grow and inspirational uh, you know when we talk about the percentage why it is impressive 46% between now and 2023 tourism helps in promoting people to people relationship the recent immigration policies and tough visa restrictions under the trump administration had not uh, you know negative impact on foreign tourist arrival so far as uh, uh, the view of uh, us experts on tourism says that though these restriction have been imposed but that hardly affect the indian arrival in the region especially in the us it is a matter of fact that all the forecasters who were saying that it could be a tremendous swim or impact really never played out that have been our job and our commons since the administration has made immigration and border security priorities we do consider sentiment in market and it's really the difference between sentiment and behavior this is what the observation of the us experts so far as traffic from us is concerned the important feature of us travelers as per the state of american travelers studies there are four important areas which may be critically examined while handling the us tourist to india so there are various part like travelers cost how much people spend travel and tourism was the second most popular choice for discretionary spending almost 1036 billion dollar was spent on traveling in 2017 business travel accounted for 317.2 billion dollar in spendings in 2017 leisure travel accounted for accounted for almost 718.4 billion dollar in spending in 2017 american spent almost 101.1 billion dollar on summer vacations vacating millennial millennial is a age group between 18 to 34 is spent on average 1373 billion dollar on summer vacation baby boomer baby boomers are the age group people those are 55 plus age group is spent an average of 1 thousand eight hundred sixty five dollar on summer vacation generation x again age group between 35 to 
is spent in an average of 2628 US dollar on summer vacation transportation cost make up uh, almost 54.3 of international trip expenditure and 39.1% of domestic trips travelers demography this is a profile of people who travel to india the millennials are 13% more likely to travel to a destination with cultural and historical significance india is one of them american women rank first in solo traveling and are more likely to travel three trips or more in a given year so ministry of tourism and the government of india has to rethink about this specific segment also roughly 35% of millennial tourists from us prefer up scale and luxury hotels or the resorts 80% of families take a vacation during the summer 96% of people aged group between 25 to 34 are likely to travel independently so when we talk about those independently government of india has to cater this segment also by providing proper safety and security to them 79% of american would consider taking a long distance during the international trip during the winter the third aspect why was related to the travel destination where people go and when they did travel top 2019 international destinations include europe caribbean asia and middle east 50% of american 89% of indian people and 69% of the french people have traveled to at least one country of their itinerary when we talk about their uh, planning to visit outside 7% of millennials 3% of general x generation x and 6% of baby boomers expect to travel only to international destination 51% of millennial 46% of generation x and 43% of baby boomers expected to travel to both domestic and international destination 25 to 26 percent of global travelers go on vacating. Uh, they they go to vacate uh, to uh, for the vacations to attend an event and the festivals. Another question was reason and decisions. Why people travel and how do they uh, how do they decide? So a study reveal the information reveal that 42 percent of people travel to visa friends and relatives, 8 percent for outdoor recreation purpose 11% for uh, entertainment and sightseeing 15% of their uh, other pleasure and personal reasons 3% for conventions conferences seminars 7% for general business purpose and 4% for other reason top gateways travelers have not done before because they are too afraid but would love to try include volunteering trip government trip or garnet adventure my straight trips sabbatical trips and an ancestry trip to find out about their heritage 30% almost 30 to 35% of travelers take vacations to try to local delicacies delicacies uh, you know uh, each of the region has its own delicacies 59% of solo travelers said the reason they travel alone is because they want to see more of the world and they are not willing to wait for others dear students the united states is quickly becoming a top destination for indian tourists in 2018, the U.S. welcomed approximately 1.4 million visitors from India and a new record, India has moved up to the first and now one of the top 10 countries. When we talk about the receipt wise, the U.S. is ahead of its rival. Almost 36% of total Indian outbound tourist spending for prospective Indian tourists gross spending share in the us is nearly 1.5% times more than the other 
uh, countries as we discussed about the Australia, UK, Singapore, Malaysia, etc. Marketing strategies. You know, political versus marketing combination, this is very important. Recent visit of Indian Prime Minister Mr. Modi to US, his visit has opened new doors for diplomacy and Indian diaspora has further opened the new opportunities to tap the new market for Indo-US travel trade. Both the sides have to find out the new ways as Prime President Trump also has shown his willingness to develop a stronger tie-up with India. This is the high time, thus the relation should be used as an effective marketing tool to promote tourism. So it is two-way, political relationship as well as the opportunity for the travel trade. To boost up the business travel, this is one of the important avenues for both the nation. Of course, US in India has imposed taxes on certain items. How to tap this segment for the development of tourism is an important area for the research. Dear students, MICE is one of the fastest growth segment for the Indian outbound travelers. These MICE trips can include conferences, trade exhibition, meetings and recreation. Aggressive marketing, you know, Condé Nast travelers, today's travelers, airline magazine and other travel trade oriented publications. There is a need to have focuses, uh, you know, focus aggressive marketing to tap the US clientele because US clientele is a bit, you know, unique in nature. Different regions have the different US uh, clientele, their behavioral pattern and all those things. Another important strategic aspect would remove myth and wrong notions. And Ministry of Tourism, Government of India is required to uh, take some immediate steps by aggressive advertisement in US media to change the mindset of US travelers, those are visiting India because they sometimes they believe I am scared of getting diarrhea when they visit India. I think India is too unhygienic for me. I am a female and don't want to get harassed or hassled. I don't think I will like the food. I am afraid of using squat toilets. So these are the common myths or the problems which generally uh, the US tourists have their mindset. So we have to remove those things. When we talk about the outdoor publicity, the greater visibility of Incredible India campaign is required at airports, buses, taxi, subways, underground station, digital screen, billboard and online boarding passes. US major cities like Washington DC, New York, Dallas, Los Angeles, California, Florida, Ornado, Las Vegas, Hollywood should be covered for the aggressive marketing campaign because these are the places where a lot of tourists are visiting to the different places and they love to see those things and to explore about India. There is a need to have the strong relation between the tour operator and the travel agents. Dear friends, now we will discuss about the Western Asia. Operation Western Asia comprises 18 countries as you all are aware, each one adding a new character to the region. UAE is perfect example of fusion between European and Asian culture, all the while preserving the old world charm and adding to the modern day wonders. United Arab Emirates exhibit a dazzling skyline of Dubai and Abu Dhabi and traditional charm with Sarja. Check out with the scenic beauty of Oman and one of the seven wonders of the world in the desert country of Jordan along with extremely salty Dead Sea, Israel adds to the cultural and historical charm to the region. With being a birthplace both Christianity and Judaism whereas Azerbaijan is a place to explore beautiful old palaces and temples while offering excellent hikes and dense 
the lush forest of hilly north and south. Georgia is yet another lush green land of culture, diverse landscapes, ancient architecture and multi-watering cuisine. Other than Iraq, Yemen, Saudi Arabia, Cyprus, Lebanon, state of Palestine, Kuwait, Armenia and Bahrain, they form part of this region. Even in India attempt to act east, it is a thinking west. Not that long ago, the word not valid for travel to South Asia or Israel used to be clearly written on all Indian passport. The present Prime Minister Narendra Modi's recent visit to Israel, the first by an Indian Prime Minister to that country brings a long diplomatic or its natural conclusion. Since normalizing relation in 1992, the India-Israel relationship has power to cover not just defense sales but also pharmaceutical infrastructure, information technology, tourism, entrepreneurship and especially agriculture and water management. Prime Ministerial visit was therefore long overdue, a fact recognized by the Modi's host, welcoming the counterpart Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, said Prime Minister Modi, we have been waiting for you for a long time, for almost 70 years. In fact, the India-Israel relations may in fact as an old one taking on new dimensions. But it now someone greater importance for both countries given the change, changes underway across West Asia. So we shortly will witness the traffic which is coming from uh, West Asia to India. And you know, uh, we, we realize that uh, in an average, um, the Yemenis, uh, those stayed the longest and uh, it, this average comes almost uh, one, more than one and a half month. So far as West Asia tourism market is concerned, that stay operation ranges between, uh, the, 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 it ranges the quality of hotels uh, very enormously in the region from cheap hotel to extra grant and lavish ethnic in Dubai. Almost all the big cities in the region offer plenty of international hotels chain and luxurious resort. However, smaller cities and some countries are quite conservative and do not allow unmarried or homosexual couple which can pose problem, uh, you know, for the travelers. Culture, region and language Finally, culture, uh, the, the family culture can be strongly observed in the Western Asian countries. Children are taught from very early age in respect their parents and, and, and they have been conveyed to respect their parents and elders. Apart from that, culture in the region is deeply religious, conservative, traditional oriented, Western Asia is a birthplace of three main religion of the world that is Christianity, Judaism and Islam. However, Islam is the dominant religion in the area followed by Christianity and Judaism. And minority of Hindus, Arabic is the official language of most of the countries in the region. English is understood in some big cities or the major tourist places. Food. When it comes to the food, the cuisine is of the region are diverse, yet quite similar to the uh, ingredients, olive oil, olives, and many, uh, you know, pastry, pista, honey, dates, uh, you know, uh, are the uh, seasons, uh, seeds, and cheapest are some of the common ingredients of the region. Bread of various varieties, in universal basic part of dishes, lamb and mutton is, you know, favorite protein in the region, whereas pork is 
banned in both Islamic and Judaism. Nightlife in Western Asia is quite varied and mostly limited to the major cities, while some countries offer good cinema including Kuwait. Other countries such as Georgia are known to its folk theater or bars and nightclubs restricted to international hotels. Countries such as Oman, Azerbaijan, UAE and Armenia have no shortage of bars, nightclub, playing local hands and DJs along with other options including fancy restaurants, opera and ballet houses, cinema halls, etc. Other places such as Afghanistan, Iraq and Yemen have almost no nightlife. Shopping is the Western Asia's, uh, you know, is an amazing experience uh, with beautiful and colorful handicraft exhibition and culture of each country. Pearls and red clay poetry are a specificity of Bahrain. Iraq offers, uh, you know, copperware, silver, spices, carpet and bring colored rugs, traditional carpet, silk or woolen are must buy from Azerbaijan. Check out the markets of Oman for silver and gold jewelry, coffee pots, sandals, handwoven textile, baskets, goat's hair carpets and camel straps. So far as festivals are concerned, tourists can enjoy a burst of festivals in the region with countries celebrating the festivals with great zeal and favor. One will find the festival of many religions including Islam, Christianity, Judaism and Jewish etc. Eid, Christmas, Tisavu, Rosh Hussain, Anulka, Ramadan, Asura and many more such Festivals are graced with the colors, lights and great enthusiasm. So far as costume, uh, customs are concerned, in most of the countries in Western Asia, handshake is the most commonly way of greeting. However, way of greeting a person of opposite gender may differ from country to country. Taking photographs without permission is considered impolite and can make people angry. Make sure to learn some polite Arabic phrases. So dear students, finally we realize that US market is a bit unique. Of course it is advanced in nature. Whereas when we talk about the Western Asia, different 18 countries have different culture. But of course it is more of a traditional one. Israel has been now open to India and now there is a direct flight also between India and Israel country wise. Delhi, um, it start from Delhi. The recent visit of Prime Minister Modi to Israel has opened the new door for the tourism and travel. I am sure you will be benefited from this chapter. I am wishing you all the best. Thank you so much.